Welcome back to Civic Education Minds. I am Teacher K. Before we start, I just want to wish all the best to those that will be sitting for their final exams. Today we are looking at a topic that is so dear to me and that is environmental education. Whenever the environment is harmed or whenever the environment has got a problem, all of us are going to feel the pressure of that problem. So the best that we can do is we take care of our environment. We make sure that our surroundings are clean. We make sure that we use a bin whenever we want to dispose of something like a bottle or a paper or a plastic. We make sure that we plant a tree whenever we can and we just positively contribute to our environment. Now the first thing that we have to do as usual is for us to define the keywords. And the keyword that we're going to find here is environment. What is an environment? Well, we can say an environment is the surroundings and things found on earth, both physical and cultural, which differ from place to place. We can also say that it is the conditions within which something exists. Now the environment is made up of different components and these components do not work independently but they are dependent on each other. What are the components of the environment? Well, the major components that we can look at when we are talking about the environment is first of all we look at the natural component of the environment. Here we find the physical and the living environments. We talk about the atmosphere and when we talk about the atmosphere, we are looking at weather phenomena, for example, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, we talk about rain, snow, we also talk about the gases, for example, oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. And when we talk about the hydrosphere, with the hydrosphere, we talk about the oceans, we talk about rivers, we talk about lakes. We can also mention things like the glaciers. So those are some examples of the hydrosphere. Then we have the lithosphere. With the lithosphere, we talk about the different continents that we have. For example, Asia, Africa, Europe. We talk about the mountains that we have, beautiful mountains, the Rocky Mountains, the Mount Everest that we find in this world, the Kilimanjaro's. Then we talk about the deserts, for example, the Sahara Desert and the Gobi Desert, which is found in China and southern Mongolia. Again, under the natural environment, we can talk about the animal and plant life. So with the animals, we can talk about elephants, the kangaroos, the bears, gorillas, monkeys, and so many other animals that we can talk about. We can talk about human beings. And when we mention the plant life, we are talking about the trees that give us the oxygen. That is about the natural component of the environment. Then when we look at the other component, which is the political environment, here we are looking at the governments, the policies and regulations that governments come up with. We are looking at the territories and the boundaries of the nations that we find in the world. We can also talk about the international relations, for example, the trade agreements, diplomatic relations, and also the international environmental agreements. Then the other component of the environment that we can talk about is the social and cultural environment. Here we are looking at the cultural and social institutions. We talk about beliefs, we talk about traditions and customs that we find in different communities. Some of the specific things that we can talk about are language, religion, for example, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, African religion. We can also talk about uh, some customs, for example, in some areas you find that they have um, bananas as their staple foods. In some areas they have unshima as their staple food. In other areas they have avocados as their staple food. Then it's also in this environment where we can talk about some social structures like the family units that we find, whether it's an extended family, a single-headed family, or a nuclear family. It's in the same environment. We can also talk about music and art that we find in different cultures. It's also in this environment. Then the last component that we have is economic environment. Here we are looking at the economic systems, the economic institutions, the rural and urban landscapes. Some of the specific things that we talk about is 
for example, the industries, the technologies that are coming up, we can talk about agriculture, we talk about trade, we talk about markets, we can talk about tourism, we talk about the financial institutions like the banks, the insurance companies, and the investment firms. So those are some of the components of the environment. Now others have looked at the components of the environment to be divided into two, living which is also known as biotic. For example, we talk about trees, animal life, the plant life. We talk about the human life. Those are some of the examples that we can give of the living or the biotic component of the environment. Then the other component is non-living or abiotic. Here we talk about water, we talk about air, we also talk about soil, we talk about minerals, and so many examples that we can give under non-living or abiotic environment. Then when we're looking at the environment from the human activities perspective, we consider it to be divided into natural and cultural. And what we mean when we say the human activities, we have a natural environment which is an environment that has not been tempered or has not been made or invented by the human beings. So that natural environment includes some things like the mountains, oceans, and weather patterns. We have no control over that. Then we have the cultural component, which is something that in a way man has uh, kind of tempered with or has a way of manipulating. So such things include languages, music, and parks. Now we have seen that all these components of the environment are just using different terms, but all of them are talking about one and the same thing. So those are some of the components of the environment. In the next video, we are going to look at environmental degradation and what causes environmental degradation. Thank you for being with me. I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe, share, and like the video.